Hi everybody! So welcome um to sushi making. Um you guys might be wondering asking this how why is it nine roll? Is it nine roll really um AM sushi maker? Well the answer to that is yes. I'm gonna give you a whole story that rundown of how it became one. Way back in 2017, I was the, became the first sushi maker in history of kids. I'm a sushi maker. I make sushi practically every single day. You guys may be wondering, why am I recording it at um, 1 in the afternoon? Let's go get out at 11 in the morning. I don't know why, but I'm the one who cooks. I think a lot of the meals, um, I'm the one who cooks about half, about, about half of the meals around. I'm the one who does a lot of it. Now the sushi that I put together is really made with a lot of confidence and it takes a team effort to make this type of sushi. Now, it's um, it's um, really hard to make sushi sometimes if you're tired. The idea here, you cannot be tired. You, 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 it's just, it's a thing. You cannot ever be tired making sushi. Sushi is the number one thing in America, and I'm the one. I'm the one who actually makes it. Now, first you're gonna wanna take a, now here's how I make it. How do I do it, you may ask? Well, strap in your belts and we're gonna be showing you the whole tips and tricks on how to do it. First it starts out with a pan, then a small pan. This is where you put the sauce in. You first turn on the heat. The heat is the main part. Now what do we do, you may ask? Well, this is the idea here. What we first do is sprinkle salt. And there's a lot of salt. The vegetable oil go also goes into make it. Salt goes in. And I'll give it, get all the salt, pack it into the oil, and make it a little more unhealthier. Not really unhealthy, but um, mix a little more tasty. And the time, the sauce that goes with the sushi only has a one tiny droplet of oil. That is all you really need for this type of food. Now heat up the two pans, get them ready just for it. Now. We let those heat up for about 20, about 11, 10 minutes. Because you wanted to get it smoking hot. Now, besides that, we got a tiny tomato. A little bit firm, a little bit edgy. So what would I do without being having any other sushi? Life would be over. I make sushi about every single day. And I don't think I will ever stop. But the main part about making sushi is you need to know what. Like, you need to be sure you have the proper training, proper skills, and proper degrees to become a sushi master. First thing that go in are tomatoes. The tomatoes slowly cook. Tomatoes are the first items to ever go into the, with the sushi. They go inside of the containers, and that is what gives it that flavor, intense, tangy flavor. Now, right after you add all those tomatoes in, it's time for the real work. You get a spatula, and you just you pour them. You use your spatula and literally mush them out down. The mushing process literally actually helps it release all the juices, and make them flatting it out. 
you actually don't use too much of them because the flavor is already adding up. The flavor is already adding up. Now we turn down the heat really low. What are you cooking over there, bud? <laughs> now, you flatten it, flatten it down. Don't get anything else up. This is dad. Now for the sauce, you add a little bit of a lot of sauce items. You add a little bit of olive oil. You untie the machinery, and that unveils. But unveils it. The hot sauce. Super cool, everybody. Now, first, we're gonna move it with a super big thing. See this pan? It's about to explode with hot sauce. Ready for this? They're gonna go nuts, everybody. Look at this with that tang. Just let it cook. Now what you do is you add one, only one, I swear, stick of butter. Finally, give it that flavor. The fan is super duper hot, so you need to be sure that you're using the proper tools, proper skills to make this type of stuff. You add a little bit of salt, I feel love like it. Okay. of how good the sauce is actually. You need to let that cook slowly for about 20 more minutes. These tomatoes are now officially over with. So what do you do? You pick them up and you drop them into a bowl. That's just gonna go with the sushi. Tomatoes are not going to waste. All that just happened is that all the flavor was lost inside the food. Now the oil is all cooking fast. So now it's a drop, your actual sushi. It's time to actually drop your actual sushi. We have been waiting too long. The vinegar type sauce is cooked already. And this is the time when we turn up, up the heat. So we turn up the heat a little bit. We want This is what makes the party super good, super delish. The 
famous LaChoy. This is what actually makes it the famous LaChoy. I got vinegar type sauce. I got vinegar type sauce. Let's see what the sauce that gives it that. Sort of deep frying these. So deep frying these. And then we'll get them all over the place now. So we'll just deep frying them a little bit. Now, one of my personal things you think I'll ever stop doing sushi? My answer? Absolutely not. I became a sushi master forever. Stop until I'm dead. That's how long I'm going to be probably hearing sushi until the end of my life. My life, it makes a well, you know, it's just Thing, being a sushi master isn't that fun sometimes because you have to be free, you have to talk, and you typically have to um, cook and make stuff burn. Like the sauce, and you need to burn. So you need to cook, then you turn off all the heat. No, wrong heat, wrong heat. You turn off the heat for the type of sauce, these, and there's a wax coating on top of the sauce. So get rid of that. You get an ace cube. You need one single ice cube. see it boiling fresh and that's the type of sauce you actually want.
connected. And now there's a juicy and top layer of wax. Your pan will turn out like this. Be burnt on the side with a lot of old charcoal. Ugh. That is what you are gonna need to get. I'm warning you that that's gonna happen here. Honey pan. Now it's not enough yet. Now it's time to place the tomatoes. Duck it. With 25 bits of sugar. Thank you. 